All right, my friends, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have an interesting one today. So this is a donation bonus league. This is for um, third degree Top Gun. And uh, this is from uh, about a month ago. This has been in the queue for a little bit. And I sent an email to, or two to Top Gun and tried to iron a timeout. It didn't really work out. So we're putting it on YouTube. And uh, so fortunately, Top Gun isn't here. We can't ask questions and stuff. But um, the list submitted was this list. It's a Ocatra's Monument list for, ooh, Copter. Ooh, Copter's good. Copter is good. I like Copter. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, that's okay. We'll live with that. But, um, so, uh, there's an Ocatra's Monument deck in Modern. But there are some, some pretty big deck building issues with, with the deck. Um, we're playing Eldrazi Displacer, and we only have two lands that can actually activate it. Um, just a few oversights. Playing Monument, we're also playing Fourth Thalia. So turn two Thalia does not allow us to play Monument on turn three. Um, there are just some deck building issues. I was not a big fan of Judge's Familiar at all. Uh, playing Ryer and Wingmare, which is a kind of a taxing effect. We're not very fast. So taxing effects are are not great when we're uh, we're not going quickly because they have time to just draw out of it and play make more land drops and play for spells. You know? So... I did, we didn't have a uh, third degree Top Gun here to ask questions about, so I just took it upon myself to make the deck improve it, or what I thought was, what I think is an improvement. Um, we did this pretty quick on stream, people were yelling out cards and stuff, this is definitely not optimal, but um, we wanted to try out a number of things. So Thalia is gone, the taxing effects are gone. Um, we added the fourth monument, this might be bad, but I want to draw it every game. Um, you know, there are thought seasons and counter spells in the format and stuff. We want to make sure we draw it. Three's probably correct, but it's a it's a monument deck, you know? Uh, we're playing a few Buglers for a little card advantage. It's important to keep things going once you have monument on. Uh, four spell cards because you have to interact in this format. We had some Restos as an individually powerful card. Also good with our, you know, the flicker effect is very good. Um, we are playing Oriok Champion, which isn't great. It wasn't a sideboard to start, but it is very, very good in a lot of matchups. And it's obviously a good monument. Kind of just trying it out. It's kind of it's an ace in the hole in some matchups and pretty bad in others, but we're going for the ace in the hole. Change the mana base a bit. Um, added Gideon from the sideboard to the main deck because the Gideon is just a great, great card in modern. It also can give us emblems, which can end the game faster. Ends the game fast itself. Um, I don't know, we're trying it out. And we're trying out Sky Asar too. Um, Cut some of the dis synergies. There's a million ways to build this deck. We're playing Core Skyfisher as our our infinite bounce card of choice. So uh, with a monument in play and a Skyfisher, you can pay one, play it, get a token, bounce it, pay one, get a token, bounce it, repeat ad nauseum until you have all, all your white mana spent. It's often white white main lion, but Skyfisher was in the original build, and Skyfisher is a two three. It's a flyer. It's a more reasonable like fair card. Um, so we're playing that instead. So we're gonna try it out. Not really sure how it's going to go. Again, this is a variation on third degree Top Gun's blue white modern monument deck. Deck's not ideal, but we're going to try it out. Um, we got a great sideboard here. Rest in peace. Stony Silence. Settle for humans. Uh, Medley Mage for combo decks. We got one Elspeth because. Yeah. Another reason for Lion over Skyfisher is good after a board wipe. Yeah, I mean, we have monument after a board wipe and stuff. So let's try it out. Blue white monument. This is pretty experimental. Uh, pseudo donation bonus league for third degree Top Gun. Let's go. Competitive modern league as always. Uh, which one is the right one? It is. Of course, you're just tuning in. Welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Also, uh, follow on uh, the Twitter sphere. Make sure we have the right deck here. And we do. Sweet. Sky Asar. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. Sky Asar is awesome. This is a card with forecast. It is a 4 3 flyer for 5. Flying. That's not very relevant. Has the forecast ability, which is on your upkeep, you can tap to untap white or blue creatures you control. Reveal this from your hand and draw a card. It's a pretty cool uh, little draw engine. You can untap your creatures too when you play it. That's that's less important. But pretty wild deck. It does look a bit fair and a bit bloated in the three drop slot here. 
Um, there were not a lot of good ones and twos for this deck, unfortunately. But possibly you could be playing a Maria, but that card kind of stinks. So we're sure rock it. See how it goes. Skunk wants to know how the queue is looking for donation bonus leagues. Well, it's funny you ask. It's uh, about eight deep, I think, right now. Let's take a look. Mulligan. All right. Keep. Uh, bottom. Where's our queue currently at? It is... I will show you. Ally? Ally? Not human? This is where we're at right now. We're currently playing the top two, so we have... There are eight decks in the queue right now. Eight decks. Callblades, Red Dragons, Aristocrats, Grizzle Brand, Enchantress. Eight decks in the queue. We're we'll knocking a lot of those out tomorrow. Do I think Sphinx's Drive would be too good in standard? Yeah. Um, don't think having Teferi and Sphinx's Rev in standard at the same time would be a good idea. Metallic Mimic, naming ally. Okay. Spell Queller. All right, well, this is interesting. Uh, Leona Sanctity? Do we, do we pat the exile the mimic? Do we attack? I don't know what to do here. And if we do path it, when do we path it? I guess when they play an ally. This is the bad version of allies. Up. Oh, this is the bad version of allies, according to chat. It's an update on the Enchanter stack, yes. That deck was very, very good. We hit some rough luck and played bad, but it was very, very good. I'm going to path now because they can't put anything in play in response, so. I guess. I'm not really sure what the ally deck does. Is there a good version of allies? Question, chat. Can you answer that? Is there a good version of allies? It's a human. Andu Cleric. Okay, we're gonna not go anywhere for a while. Got it. So they're going to gain a bajillion life and we're going to make a bunch of tokens and we're going to sit here until the end of time. No basics. Squadron Hawk. Okay. We're going to leave Spell Queller up, I guess. Uh, if, you're, if you're trying to say that allies wrecks humans... That's a pretty bold claim to make. Um, ally Encampment? Oh my god, what's this card do? Sacrifice an ally encampment, return an ally you control to its owner's hand. That's not particularly great. So... Choose a color, allies gain protection from the color of your choice. Okay, well, this card is pretty good. Okay, well, we are mostly white, unfortunately, and have a lot of white cards in our deck. So, this card is likely to be good against us. Because if they gain pressure from white every turn, we're just dead. So, okay. Yeah, we're broke. I don't think we have actually have any chance to win. I don't think we can beat. We can beat this card. 
Just straight up. Which is kind of embarrassing, honestly. Like, what are we even doing with our lives? Because we have, like, Reflector Mage, I guess. Uh, I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not even paying attention. All right. Um... Should have known that was coming and held up path. Yeah. Alright, well, we're going to go to the next game, I guess, because we can't actually win. So, cool. Good start. Good start. If I had to win a modern GP tomorrow, what deck would I play? Probably humans. Alright, so they're playing allies. We have sell the wreckage now. And probably it. We can cut the We have we have settled, so I cut like a monument, so we're not gonna go with a killer monument. I cut a Gideon, I guess. I got both Gideons for Elspeth. Oriok's fine. They have red creatures. You know, like, gains life, whatever. Alright, let's try again. Sand's not particularly good, but I guess we have to keep it. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Aether Vial. Restoration Angel. Selfless Spirit. Orndal seems cool, right? No, you don't bring in Stone Silence for Vials. Survivalist. Sure. You have a survival dude. No humans here, Rapunzel. I guess it is a human, technically, but... Can't be countered, eh? So, like, can't be countered at all? Like, you just can't counter it in any possible way? There's no way to counter it? I mean, Survivalist is just worse than... than Jamie of the Parish, right? Like, just a two-mana champion of the parish. What's up, Sky? You're sitting here. Welcome to the stream. Uh, donation bonus league for third-degree Top Gun here. And uh, we updated the deck a bit. Top Gun is uh, not available to watch live, so... There were some issues with the deck we wanted to fix, so we fixed them. Oriak Champion. So, I mean, Restoration Angel is like obviously pretty good. Could possibly ambush the Survivalist. It also might not ambush it because they just can do stuff. Um, Champion doesn't really do much right now. We're kind of racing. Yeah, I'm just gonna play the rest though. Put seven power flyers in play. We should attack twice. Hopefully fire off path and be all right. On do cleric. That's a huge tilt. Um, 
I guess I'd rather have them not have that than... Uh, and Battle Singer's actually really good. All right, I guess they have Andu Cleric. We play a land. It's turn four. So, I mean, any ally makes our block terrible. I guess we're just taking it. This feels really bad. Yeah, there's an ally. So I guess we're just going to path. I'm going to copy the, the Duder. Like, we call the cleric. This thing just kills us. This seems awful. Like we just, we just can't actually win. Like this feels bad. We can no longer race with resto, so I can just bounce it. That's that's a card. Okay, sure. That was a bad play on my part. One of the advantages of playing weird cards is no one knows what your cards do, so that is definitely a thing. The Bugler, eh? Ah, oh, it's... Another Oriac champion. I should have played the champion first, obviously. Just bounce the bugler, I suppose. We're just like almost dead, which is kind of shitty. I mean, the problem is that we're not playing any removal spells or any fast clock. So this is going to happen a lot where our opponents are just going to get to do whatever they want to do and just kind of run over us. And the ally deck is definitely worse than humans, but it's a deck. It does put a lot of power into play and does, and does stuff, you know? So we're making them look real good because we're basically playing a standard deck here. We've gone turn two spell for spirit, turn three spell queller, turn four nothing. You know, like, we're basically playing standard. Um, so our opponent's deck is going to look very, very good regardless of what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, we just can't ever win. So, okay. All right, that wasn't very fun. I did not have fun there. And else have fun? I did not have fun. I mean, I don't think Monument helps us there at all. I mean, clearly this deck has fundamental flaws and that the card Oketra's Monument does not seem very good in Modern. Um, we're kind of like ignoring that a little bit, but a card that costs three, it doesn't actually do anything when you play it, is tenuous at best in Modern, but this is what we're doing and we're trying it out, so... Pseudo donation bonus league for third degree Top Gun. Um, the list we got was a little askew, so we we changed it a little bit. If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. If you haven't followed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Twitter, follow Fantasy Football. This is my team, 20-team league. I'm stoked. Todd Gurley, first pick out of 20 picks. Check it out. Okay. Inspector Hawk Queller. Sure. Wooded Foothills, Mountain, Goblin Guide, Rift Bolt, sure. Where are those main deck uh, Oriok champions we drew every game last uh, last time? Give me some of those right now. If they play a Eidolon of 
the Great Rebel, we can never ever win. Surprise. Oh no, thank God. I mean, there's a world where they have nothing, and like, we're just gonna have to jump block anyway eventually, so. Probably no chance to win this game. Okay, I mean, I guess we could theoretically spell call or something. Please just kill me, opponent. I'm just conceding. I'm not playing anymore. We have no chance to win this game. I'm not wasting my time for the next two minutes. Okay. Uh, once again, a deck that did its thing very fast, and our deck didn't really do much of anything. Um, we actually got nothing for this one. All right, let's draw Oryx Champion. Oryx Champion. I mean, actual deck we want to play against. Any slower, grindier deck, probably. Like, deck that's not going to turn for you. Burn player in the tank in the sideboard. All right. Oh, we did it. Keep, 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 keep. What's up, nerd girl? Goblin guy, eh? How about a little champion action? Gain some lifos. Rift Bolt. Rift Bolt. Sure. Um, can I dig in this Reflector Mage, I guess? Can dig that. Take that away. Oh, nope. Always yes. And get it for the old one ski. Jund and New Standard. Well, there's no, no Rakdos or Stomping Ground, right? Or Grohl. Mismatched Rift Bolts? Wow. The humanity. The humanity. Um, Alright, so, should I play some more creatures here? Spike. Rift Bolt. Hallowed Fountain. So I guess we... Attack... And gain two. Could draw a card off of our Sky Fisher. I mean, our our Sky Asar, but bounce Sky Fisher. 
be much more efficient if we had monument, but we don't. Even though we added the fourth monument. I saw a smasher. All right, so we're at 12. Rift Bolt. Us. They're managing to avoid playing creatures. Searing Blaze. Spell Queller. That's pretty awkward, actually, that we're probably going to lose this game, even though we had Champion on turn two. Um, yeah. Lightning bolts. Okay, so I guess we just spell cover this because we're just gonna die otherwise. We gain a life. We eat it. They have two cards left. Um, any spell that's pointed at spell queller is a spell that's not pointed at us. They get it back anyway, but you know we're we're grasping a little straws here a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Swift spear. Gain a life. Block. Block, 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 block. Block, 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 charm. Tar creature gains double strike on the other turn. Wow. Blowout city. That's a concession. No? Wow. Still playing? All right. Probably should have upkeep forecast. Just tagging for three is better. All right, we're kind of doing it. Oh, oops, we're doing it. Orac champion. Um, yeah, just block it. And if they have a spell. We get to, uh, Catcher's Monument, found it. They have a spell to kill my Queller, that's fine, because I just mage it next turn anyway. Oh yeah, we even had this though, that's right. Block. Looking like game three. Firecraft targeting Queller. Sure. Queller targeting Bolt. Alright, see, now we're. Now we're. Hey, Monument. We did it! Let's cast this stupid thing. Gain a bunch of life. Yeah, F6, let's go. We got places to be. That place is game three. Said that place. That's not lethal, actually. Um, whatever. Tax keys. Play this thing. Why, why, why forecasting? You can just play a four power flyer and kill them. We did it! We won! Oriok champion, the bomb. Mulligan to Oriok champion. Don't talk bad about my stack. Just because you're seeing Eldrazi's in my stack doesn't mean they're actually there, right? That's on you. No one else sees the Eldrazi but you. All right, that is a synergy. It doesn't actually it didn't actually matter because there's no way they could win. So, How did the ally match go? We got shit stomped. Um, it wasn't even close. We had no chance to win. Not a one. We could not interact with their things. We only have four removal spells. And they did lots of stuff and killed us. Right, Burnsy? It sucked. Yep. Not a fun match. All right.
Um, we probably got a mulligan into a to Oriok champion. This hand is fine, but canopy is awkward. Ugh. I just don't see us like realistically winning a game with this hand. We have one drop, two drop, three drop, but they're all very mopey. We have a path, which is good. Um, but like, all right, I guess I'll keep sure. This is what we signed up for. If I was your opponent, I'd want you to keep this. Yes, I understand. We only have two Oriok champions, so it's not like we're like a favorite to draw one if we mulligan, you know? If we had four, I'd be much more inclined to mulligan. I might have just mulligan this anyway, but someone in chat said keep, so I kept. Opponents deciding if they want to go Mountain Goblin Guide or Inspiring Vantage Goblin Guide or Fetch Line Goblin Guide. Uh, if we play Orac Champion on turn four, it's not going to matter. We're going to be dead. I'm blocking. Top card, Restoration Angel. Gain two life, make a clue. Ooh, no Landos. Okay, well that's a little awkward in that we our path exiles are worthless, but we get some blocks, buy some time. Maybe we'll have time to find Oriok Champion with Militia Bugler. Ah, uh, I drew a land, we're dead. There's a doornail. Now they have six spells in their hand. If we faded for like one or two more turns, uh, could have drawn probably 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 done it, but Yeah, Searing Blaze is uh, pretty good. Reflector Mage. It's not bad. Seems, I mean, the, the we run the Bugles, try and find Champ. We don't have a good play after we play Champion, so run the Reflex, Reflex Keys. Hopefully, we draw a non Canopy Land next turn. Shrine of Burning Rage. Oh boy, that card's hard to beat for us. Oh, we did it. Um, okay. This card goes real big, though. So, that is a... Yeah, I guess... All right. It does kill Oriok Champion, but I'm okay with that, and that's really, really, really slow. Like, they have to draw land, takes their whole turn. Once we have Resto available, like, it doesn't kill it. I think we're gonna take one and crack a clue here. Wow. Pretty scary. Gideon? Gideon's actually dope. Uh, um, because Gideon kills real fast. They they miss a land drop here. Um, I think they're dead. I think we're gonna win this game. I love Gideon. Gideon is Gideon's really, really underplayed in modern. So the biggest problem was that we just weren't going to kill our opponent fast enough before they can do what they want to do. Gideon does that for us. Goblin God. 
add a counter, add a counter. In a life. Goblin God. Add a counter. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten next turn. Ugh. It's so close. And we can't really path because if we path, we give them mana and they can activate their stuff. All right, that's fine. Um, so I guess we're just gonna slam jam. Sorry, John's in the doctors. Just keeping, keeping an eye on what's going on. Okay. Um, I think I like just slamming. We can use Path on the last turn to clear blockers away and kill them. So. Right, this game's over. This is all fine. Um, sure. So now we we could just resto reflect now nah, that doesn't do much damage either. She has Bueller, I think. Skyfisher. Hmm. Okay. Turn a permanent you control by a land drop this turn. Yes. I have made a land drop this turn. It's fine. Just gonna bounce a land, and they are super dead. Getting out of Zendikar, the bomb. We win. We did it. One and one. If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Pseudo donation bonus league for third degree Top Gun. Um, List third degree top to submit. It was a little, I don't know if you, you know, kind of uh, deck building, um, we'll call them errors, I guess. And uh, they're not here to uh, talk to him about it. So we made some changes and we're playing on Catcher's Monument in Modern. You wouldn't know it because you never draw it, but deck seems kind of slow, but it's cool. Got some cool stuff going on. Obviously, you don't want your modern curve to look like this usually. Uh, it's got to be more here than here, but. That was cool. Be burn. Oriok champion MVP. Gideon's also great. So. <laughs> Got the pair up to a 1 0 here. So. Oh my god. Man, we just never draw a monument. It's actually sick. Um, let me just mulligan. I mean, if Warrior Champion's good, this is kind of like the ace in the hole, just like good in like five or six matchups. I'm just gonna keep whatever. Good double canopy, obviously. Hand's pretty awkward, but we have Champion, Spirit, Red, Black. Black and Red. That's the worst draw in the whole deck, okay. Yeah, if we only played three monument, we'd have one every game. But playing four means you never draw it. Except you know, like next game, our hands gonna be monument, 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 land, 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 Oriok champion or something. Blood crypt, end step. Nothing. So shadow deck, I guess. Some kind. Swamp is weird. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Goblin Lord, why would they shock and take two? Discard a hollow one. Got him. God damn it. Oh my god, come on. Get out of here. Get out of town. Just go away.
discards the hollow one, still has two more. Unreal. Jim D. Fear. I mean, we have Reflector Mage. We draw like a land or two. We could like do some stuff. The problem is we're not really doing anything. We, we kind of just like are playing standard cards and dirling around. We're not really like doing much, you know? Against Burn, that works because we can just gain some life with Champion and do stuff, but. Brutality, Duress, Drain, Discard, Bloodgast. Well, lucky for you, we're only playing creatures. Lucky for us, I suppose. Maybe lucky for you, too, honestly. Get back Bloodgast and Flame Wake Phoenix. Attack for a million. No, you're not. You can't. You're not gonna ban goblin lore. All right, just attack for ten on turn three. Here, it's fine. Didn't draw a land. So roof. Jeez. Play Squadron Hawk and block, I guess. Squadron Hawk, path block, block, take four. Yeah, they obviously ban looting first. Looting is the like the actually really good card. That's used in multiple decks. Alright. Your reflector mage. I want to keep the Reflector Mage for Restoration Angel. Alright. This feels bad. But... We've increased our odds of drawing land next turn. Brutality, minus two, minus two, drain. Discard flame blade adept. God damn it. Are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. Alright. Well, that sucked. Um pretty good hand. Alright, it wasn't great, but we got crushed. Turned two hollow ones. We're gonna board in Rest in Beast. And Saddle and Elspeth, I guess. We're gonna cut Gideon. We're gonna cut. I guess a monument. I just don't know. Don't, eh. Cut the Sky Hussar, and cut the Buglers. I suppose. I guess Spellcaller is not great here either. It's fine, but probably too slow. We're still working on the Dark Seasons deck in Modern. Um. I'm going to keep working on it. I like it. Tracker's great. We're not there yet. This card is actually great against them because they just can't get through it at all. Uh, it's Flame Wake Phoenix or Bust. I mean, we have two settles. Vomit. We have two paths. I assure you, we want the Elspeth. This hand is not particularly good, honestly. We are missing land drops, we're not doing anything. I'm gonna keep it, but it's pretty bad.
Tilt. Street Wraith. Cliffs. Looting. Hollow one, hollow one, hollow one, hollow one. No. Ooh. I could buy an Oriok champion for a dollar. Here's Inspector and Path the Flamblade Adapt. We want to save the. We want to save the. Paths for the. Because we have Settle too. I think we're all right here. Burning Inquiry eats my Hawk, Path, and Inspector, and leaves us with a another four drop and a monument. Awesome. And they discarded a Grudge and a Hollow One. God damn it. Basically, worst case scenario. Um, lost our two one mana spells. Got a worthless three mana spell. God, the grudge is so gross. Another path. Okay. Don't know why they brought the grudge. I mean, I guess they saw the the Sky Fisher guy, which makes it pretty obvious you're playing this card. You would never play Horse Sky Fisher in your deck if you're not playing this card. So, Goblin Lore discards explosives, Hollow One. Man, grudge is a huge chill. We finally draw a monument. So not many creatures anyway, it doesn't really matter, but as Adeth as menace. I think it's intervening if. I'm not going to take the risk. Whatever. I think if they go to combat and they trigger the Phoenix and we kill it in response, they don't get it back, but I don't want to ask questions. I'm just going to do it anyway. So, there's our land. I guess we're just playing this stupid monument because, I mean, what else are we going to do? I guess we could, like, wait and try and get a, a token off of it that requires us to draw a land and a two-mana creature. Let's just waste one other mana next turn. I mean, our hand is real bad. Haste wise, I only have Phoenix. I guess I could. Discard blood gas to a brutality and drain us or something and then do that. But ugh. Oh, ancient grudge. Rats. I mean, they don't really have anything. We do have Settle, Settle, Path in our hand, so we're like... They got a long way to go before they kill us. Discard a Blood Guest? Sure. Uh, yeah, I said always yes. Always yes means always yes. All the time, every time. Off burning inquiry, that'd be dope. Do it. I have angler. All right, it's fun. Always yes. I 
Like, there are eight. And we do have a resto that can block the Phoenix and then attack them and stuff. <sighs> Loot skis. Not quite a land. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. I've been sneezing lately. I don't know why. Are there allergies in the fall, too? Double Phoenix. Oh, God. I guess I could have killed the Angler in response. But I always rather just pat the Phoenix because the the Angler is irrelevant anyway with Orac Champion. So... Irrelevance to stretch. Eh, maybe I should just pat. I should just pat the angler. Maybe. Should I draw land? Honestly. Slowest hollow one player of all time. I guess we'll put the Squadron Hawk on the bottom of our deck with our Mist Veil Planes. Nope. Don't control more than one white permanent. Did not read the card. I would like to draw a land. That would make me happy. Like our opponents, do not be stuck in jello. That would also make me happy. And an angler, too. Path our champion? That's insane. We'll draw a land eventually. Like. Selfless spirit. Okay. Well. Y'all thought Oriok champion wasn't going to do some work, you know? Y'all thought Oriok Champion was a chump. Lightning Bolt, Selfless Spirit. Well, that's a problem. We take 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Taking 12 here. Bolt you. Brutality you. Gain a life. <laughs> well, I've had more fun in that game, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not super impressed with the card with Oketra's Monument in uh, in Modern. Again, we haven't really drawn it at all, but yeah. The white cards in the format are good. So, Settle the Rackage is a nice card. I mean, I think Pathing the Champions. At the time we cast the Path to Exile, we did not know that they were going to be adding eight more power to the board. So it looked like we had a lot more time than we thought we did. And pathing a champion is just crazy. Like, if we knew they were playing both of those things, then maybe it's correct, but that is super hindsighty. Yeah, 
Yeah, pathing angler would have been better. Yes, that, I should have done that. I just, I just screwed up, honestly. We got a trade going down. Oh my god. What a savagery. Savagery here in day one of all of the uh, Flippin' for Grizzle Brands Fantasy Football League. A blockbuster trade goes down. Uh, Matt Ling is quarterback only drafter. He only got two this year, actually. He got Rodgers and Brady. And he got Carlos Hyde. Hyde is good. And traded Brady and Carlos Hyde for Levy and Bell. What? What a blockbuster deal. The number one ranked player in fantasy football gets traded. I think you're always better, but whatever. He was he was number one on the list. Gets traded day one of our league. That's insane. And Saturday. Whew. How do they win through two settles? Well, we, we blow them out one time with settle. And then they play around it the next time. Yes, Bell is an inactive. We wanted him. All right. We drew Monument. And no cards that cost less than two or three we're keeping. And he's showing up for practice. You talk about practice. Listen. Solo Penguin, you talk about practice right now. All right? Now that's a fantasy football game. You talk about practice. Yes, I took Dot Todd Gurley, pick one, pack one. So. You talking about practice. Oh, God, search for tomorrow? Oh, my God, we can never beat this deck in a million years. Oh my god. I don't mind getting browned over and over and over again, but we gotta we gotta get rolling here. Why why are we my draw step? What is going on? Let's go. Come on. Sideboard meddling mage? I mean they have lightning bolts in the anger of the gods and stuff, like we got nothing. Yeah, we are. We're just dying on turn four here. We did it. Okadra's Monument has resolved on turn three. We finally drew the monument. Here it is, folks. The moment you've been waiting for. Monumental action. You got Ertz and Jimmy Graham? Well, I got Ertz. I wanted Jimmy Graham. I took Ertz, though. I'm not, I'm not sad about it, either. I don't mind if you go on a tank. But like, it's turn one, it's my draw step, and you have a tapped stomping ground and a search for tomorrow. Why are you stopping in my draw step? Just hit the goddamn F6 button. Prismatic almond, we are 100% dead next turn. Possibly this turn. If you wanna see the the, uh, the fantasy football draft I did last night, um, I'll be posting it on YouTube soon. All right, we did it. Now what? I mean, we're probably just casting Gideon. <laughs> um, is Skyfisher makes four tokens? And then Gideon, yeah, Gideon's still just faster, right? That's so sick. I think this is a, uh, a perfect microcosm for this entire league. We got our monument in play. We have four mana on turn four. We're all ready to roll, and the best play is just to play Gideon because it's the fastest clock. Like, that's so silly. And now we're at 18, too. For, it doesn't matter. They have moment in play.
Yeah, I mean, that's not perfect. I don't know what is. Could go bugler. Spellcaller is uh spellcaller does cap does stop scape shift. That is true. I mean, I feel like our best chance is just to hope they have nothing and just play Gideon and try and kill them. Playing Bugler for Spellcaller is good against Scape Shift, yes. Alright. Alright, sure. I mostly just want to activate this monument. So, you guys sold me. As a Reflector Mage and a Thraven Inspector. Okay. Get a little clue value. That's just gonna win this game. You know what this game needs? More clue value. And I'm going to Skyfisher. Is it weird? I think I'm gonna bounce the clue. Just so I can Gideon next turn. An emblem. And pray to God that they don't do anything. They have a bolt too. Wow. Spellcaller would not have mattered. So next turn emblem would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's not bad. If we draw... I guess I could just bounce a land. Yeah, I guess bouncing a land is fine. Because there's no there's no play I, I can make next turn off of the mana that I... Like... If I draw any spell, I would need to cast. I should play a land. If I draw a land, I don't need to make multiple land drops. So, Holy God. Hansel. You're going to kill us next turn. Alright? It's a nice Wood Elves, though. I respect that. That's a, that's a very, very classy Wood Elves. That was fun. Dead on turn four. Okay. I mean we got we got nothing here. We got actual stone cold nothing. Valakit's obviously not super popular, and we just got nothing for it. We're gonna cut the cut a monument. SR Suppose bugler. Our oh, path is terrible too. Oh my god, this is this is atrocious. And path is like the actual just the worst. Sure. Oh boy. Oriok champion. Not so good in this matchup. Maybe Mulligan. Just try and like I don't, I don't even know what we're doing here. Oh god. Try and get a spell caller, I guess. Sure. Opponent Mulligan's to six. That is uh, one of our outs. All right. That's super awkward, actually. We gotta fetch first. Problem is, what are we even meddling maging? Like, Titan, Scape Shift, Anger of the Gods, Lightning Bolt. Goodbye, land on top. I do love me some Thraven Inspector, but it's not exactly the uh, kind of card we're looking for. Meddling Mage is here. What?
Agora... I don't know the name. I was playing the Oriok champion, I think. I don't know what I want to name yet. Uh, Westville Abbey has done nothing. They have a Lightning Bolt for 3 Minutes Spectre. Wow. Good choice not playing that Metal Image. Uh, this deck has been pretty, pretty, pretty mopey. Um, Catcher's Monument is not a playable card in Modern. Mist Veil Plains. Alright, so. We're firing in with our Meddling Mage. What are we going to name? Already cast a Lightning Bolt. Hex, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in, my friend. And thanks for subbing, I appreciate it. Scapeshift, Anger, and Titan are all good names. And they're all likely cards they have multiples of. I'm just going to name Anger of the Gods. Like, I'm going to hope they get mana screwed and we kill them with Grizzly Bears and win the game. That's my that's my hope here. That's my, my play. Oh, they have a Bolt. It's actually, I'm actually happy they have Bolt. Because every Bolt they have is a land they don't have. And as Titan, they don't have. Like, if they mulliganed to six and they have Mountain, Mountain, Bolt, Bolt, that's kind of fine. They might, they, they might miss a land drop here, you know? So. Third Mountain. Sure. You know what time it is? It's time for my opponent to hit F6 for once in their goddamn life. It's monumental time. Let's go. Let's go. No land, go. Blood Crypt. Ooh. Ooh. Blood Crypt. Looking like our play is going to be... Uh, that's actually not the worst. Um, we drew a land, we were going to cast Gideon, but... Some some Balagat decks splash like uh, slaughter games in their sideboard. Yeah, obviously not casting a spell. Well, too bad. We're casting this. Ain't got time to sit around. Got no patience for sitting around. That's cute. Alright. Um, so, we Skyfisher here. What do we bounce? We get two, three, four, five, six, seven power in play. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's twelve with a Gideon emblem. I was bouncing a land. Oh, crap. All right, well, now they get a ramp spell. We get to draw land, cast Gideon, and we might we might win this game, honestly. Maybe not. Now we're probably dead. Bounce Spellcaller? That's a good idea. It doesn't really matter, though, because we can't, we can't Spellcaller the, the Titan. If they have Scape Shift, ooh. All right, well, that plays... Given how this turn is played out, I kind of think they have Scape Shift. So I'm going to name Scape Shift. I don't think a Titan actually kills us anyway, so with two forests in play. Hold. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they like mountain scape shift. That'd be sick. Or far seek scape shift. No, I can't do that. Why would you name Titan? Titan doesn't kill us. I mean, we reflector mage and a bunch of creatures in play. I mean, Titan's basically irrelevant. Because they're at six, we just kill them. Skur Tribe Elder. They're dead. They can't cast Scape Shift? Oh, yeah, this turn. Well, now they can't anymore, right? Reflector Mage! We did it! We win! Or should I cast Self Spirit first, just in case? Oh, they have a Valakut trigger. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. Uh, kill that. Two, three, six. They're still dead. I should have played the Self of Spirit first, probably. But, unless they have a Bolt, I win anyway. We did it! We won a game! There's always a fail rate, you know? Sometimes your opponents just don't play lands for a bunch of turns. Now, we have to win game three on the draw. What are the odds you win game three? I'm going to draw here. Let's see some numbers in chat. Somebody crunch the numbers. Ah. Well. I've seen better. Well. I've seen better. This is, this is atrocious. Well. That's terrible. Keep. Top. What are the odds the Jets in the Super Bowl? It's actually 200 to 1. Looked it up. They kept 7. The old meddling mage ski, eh? What do we even name here? There's no good names. I mean, the deck has like a bunch of good cards in it. Uh, how about name Bolt? I guess. So realistically, we probably can't beat a bolt anyway because it'll just slow us down too much. Oh, no, we got to get lucky this game. We got to draw running lands for Quell or Gideon. We're not cracking the clip. We have to apply max pressure and get lucky and draw perfectly. Hopefully their hand is just like bolt, 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 bolt. Yeah, we are 100% dead next turn. All right, step one. Collect underpants. Step two. Step three, win the game. <laughs> um huh Okay
Oh, God. What an anger of the gods that was. Okay. They had explosives and anger. So the hope is they have nothing else, and we just blow land Gideon and kill them in two turns. God damn it, we drew squadron dog. Oh, I hate my life. Yes, they can kill my clue with their EE on zero. But we have Squadron Hawk, so it's all going to be okay. Nothing to worry about here. We have quite the clock going. Please kill me. For the love of God, please just kill me. No! Land? God damn it. Well, the obviously don't have me dead, so... It's not over. They have nothing. Hopefully they just have lands in hand. Alright, they didn't play a spell. That scares me. I'm just playing Spellqueller. Ain't nobody got time for this. Two, f five. Oh, I didn't do any good math here. Uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I fucked up. I should have cast Reflector Mage. If you draw, if you draw a land, Gideon Emblem is lethal. That's pretty bad. We can't be Titan anyway. Oh yeah, keep playing lands. Just draw, off, search tomorrow's all day. If they have tight, we just die. Because they just get Valakut and make a bunch of land drops and kill us. We're getting so punished here. Alright, Skyfisher, fun. Alright. Uh, get him! So you're saying there's a chance. Everything goes on the table. Everything. We did it! We did it! They have all lands! Wow. 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 That's gotta be like a 90-10 a matchup. Um, but, you play the game for a reason. And the Jets win. The Jets win the Super Bowl. Where's my Jets jersey? The Jets win the Super Bowl. The Jets win the Super Bowl. Where's the picture? Oh, there it is. The Jets win the Super Bowl. They did it. <sighs> Sometimes uh, decks have a fail rate, you know? The Jets win the Super Bowl. That's going to be the, the image for this uh, this video on YouTube. Uh, I might keep this. Now we're going to turn around. We're going to turn it around now. Now we're going to have turn three monument. We're going to go nuts. It's going to be great. The Jets win the Super Bowl. Cheer. Thanks, Vault. Get there. Oh, you want to see my hand? You want to see my hand? Is that what you want? Huh? You don't want to see my hand. You don't want to see my hand. I like Peek. Oh god, blue eye control? 
Oh my god. Alright. This seems hard. Alright. Um. So what are we casting here? I don't mind just rocking self with spirit, honestly. They counter it, they counter it. Um, if it resolves, it's fine. They probably have Terminus in their deck anyway. But, let's put some pressure on. Jeskai has been playing Peak lately. I mean, turn one island is pretty weird from Jeskai. Second island? Yeah, probably not. Probably not playing uh, Jeskai. Remand? Seems like a blue moon deck or something. That'd be great. So I can't show the pop up video because I copyrighted marked. Uh. Yeah, I'm feeling blue moon. That's what I'm thinking. I just gotta rock the monument. I just can't not play monument, right? I could path my inspector. I could go self a spirit if they counter it path inspector. It's aching turns the steam vents. Yeah, I actually like that. I like spirit. Leave path up. There. Ooh, just we have Skyasar too. Didn't even notice that. That's a fun one. You gotta attack too though. Tap land. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Do we forecast our Skyasar and draw a card? In lieu of three damage? Uh yeah. Let's do it. Draw cards. We got our engine online. Spell Queller. Path to Exile. Awkward. Um, Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. I think we're just going to say go. And probably Path, Inspector, Crack, Clue. Leave a Spell Queller. Lightning Bolt. Targeting me. That smells like Through the Breach Emmercool. I think we're dead. Wow. Wow. Yeah, well, we're playing standard and they're playing modern, so I guess we're dead. What the hell is that thing? It's weird looking. All right, that was fun. Well, you can't path it. You can't spell Queller it either. I mean, I don't think blocking with Queller and losing our entire board makes me want to play this game anymore. So, okay, that was fun. Um, yeah, through the breach, got it. Sounds cool. Glad you're here. Oh, Path to Exile is awful too? Good lord. We got nothing. If only knowing what was going to happen would stop it from happening, you know? If only you could be like, I know what you're going to do. You can't do that. You're not allowed. Settle? We're not going to... Guys, Annihilator 6. We lose all our permanents. We can't win anymore. Everything our deck costs three. All right? Come on. Let's chill out here. Can you give me an aneurysm? Yes, negate would have been good in our sideboard. 
Probably want some negates on the board. Oh boy. Well, that was brutal. Um, but again, we're just kind of seeing that like we're playing basically a standard deck and Modern is a very fast, hostile format that kills you on turn five every time. So, oh my god, this hand is awful. What's up, Magic Wrestling? I'm going to log in. I'm going to keep, I guess. I guess I want to draw that, so it's not going to fetch. Yeah, most of our cards are pretty awful here. If they were just playing Blue Moon, I actually was pretty sure we were going to win. Um, so our, our deck seems fine. It's like a, a Blue Moon-esque deck, but we just can't beat Through the Breach Emmercool ever. Um, I'm interested in Selva Spirit. We've got Spirit. Yes, we do. We've got Spirit. How about you? Yeah, Squadron Hawk doesn't race very well. It's not really what the card is, uh, is there for. Yeah, it sucks we have no way like at least we had like we could we could quell our escape shift last round. But and, well I think we're just rocking the bugles. Yeah, sure. Probably counter it, but whatever. What are we gonna do? Sure. Ooh. Ooh. Well, if Monument can put enough stuff into play, we can actually beat an Emrakul because we can block it and sacrifice a bunch of tokens. Not oh, Remand again. You know a card's really good against a deck full of three mana spells? Remand. Remand. Yeah. Yeah. Let's draw a land. Drawing a land here would actually be very good. We can go land, mon we can go monument, land, spirit, or hawk. That's actually really good. I mean, we could actually have a chance to win this game. Land! God damn it, you bastard. Resolve Monument. If they have Emrakul, we can't win. Resolve Monument, and if they have a Braid or something, it's bad, but if we play Spirit and Inspector, we have a chance to attack Jace, but they could have Bolts and stuff. Kill me. Put me out of my misery. Dur, 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 24 lands. Am I dead yet? No? Come on. Oriok champion. Oh, Oriok champion. Alright, well, let's guess, um, a squadron hawk. See if they try and like counter this or something. We get spell caller up. We're doing stuff. We could have cryptic here. We could spell queller cryptic, I suppose. Works for me. So all that's fine. Yes. Two. It 
6 a.m. J.O., where are you, my friend? J. Binary. The fact that they didn't play a land, I mean, they have all spells, means we're probably dead, but... Ah, uh, here it comes. That's game! You're dead! Ah! Oh, that wasn't very fun. Okay, well... Um, yeah, so the moral of the story here is that Oketra's Monument is unfortunately not playable in Modern. Um, you, uh, you just can't play decks that don't do anything in the first few turns of the game and ever hope to win. We got very, very lucky to be the Valakid player. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just, it's cool, it's fun, it's a cool idea. Again, this is based off of, uh... Third degree Top Guns Monument Deck Donation Bonus League. Uh, we cleaned it up a little bit, but I mean, some cards just aren't meant for modern, and Okechra's Monument is one of them. Question is, is Monument playable modern? The answer is no, it is not. Uh, Gideon was very good, and Gideon's great. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, that's it. Watching on YouTube. I'll tell you. Just won the, the, uh, the Super Bowl. That's all what happened in this stream. Thanks for watching.